we are. Premiere party. I am so excited that today is finally here. I have been so anxious. Um, I hope you guys are going to have a premiere party too. You know, I don't know. Tag me. It's going to be fun. I can't wait to see what you guys are up to. I should have had a party where we like dressed up um, like each people of the cast. Maybe I'll do that next episode. Anyways, guys, if you are new to my Amazon Live, make sure you hit that follow plus button so you will be notified. Feel free to ask me all the questions um, today, especially because, I mean, I'm in a good freaking mood. So, let's do this. <sighs> Anxious. You know, it's just always one of those things where... It's like this countdown of like waiting and waiting and waiting and we're finally here. I'm just so excited you guys get to meet Brett for the first time and, you know, see what's going on. I think this is going to be the best season Southern Charm has ever had. So I'm excited about that. And yes, if you guys are going to be at home watching this, these are the pajamas you need. I put them in my carousel, so actually that's going to be uh, my first product here. It's a two-piece. Little has some little um, fur on the legs as well. I know you guys have seen these probably online, but they were like so expensive that I was like, I'm not doing that. So I found these for us so we can get them in every color. They're everything. Yes. Anything with a fur or whatever you call this stuff. Um, yeah. Okay. What can we expect for the first episode? Well, I don't want to ruin it for you, but like I said, you're going to meet Brett. Um, and just kind of, it's, it's a little bit of a, of a catch up. So you can kind of see what we've been all doing. But don't worry, it, it gets interesting, so it starts out a little a little hot, you know what I mean? Um, the fabric on these pajamas, I'm not really sure. Like I said, they, they're not the most like expensive pair of pajamas, but the fabric is super like silky kind of, but not like silk, if that makes any sense. Okay, let's get into these other little cover-ups now ah. yeah let me show y'all a picture of it um this is like a mesh body dress. could be cute you know just you and your girlfriends hanging around wanting to take cute pictures but it's you know i don't know you would have to wear something like nude underneath it like that looks fabulous the only problem is the fur on it does not look like that. So, um, you're getting a little catfished on this one, but it's okay. <laughs> I mean, maybe if we steamed it, I don't know, get your hot glue gun out and add your own fur, honestly. It's not, it wouldn't cost you that much, but I also have it in this pink color as well. Brush it. Brush it. And then, you know, like I said, we could steam it. It's giving um, thing one and thing two. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all, the hair on those little things looks like my actual real hair. Okay. Um, what do I think of Paige and Craig? Is the house nice? Mm. I love Paige, love Craig. Y'all know that. House is nice. I've seen it like... It's crazy because when we filmed, even like in my house, my house is already completely different than what it was. Like I've already got so much more furniture, which is kind of embarrassing because I'm like, oh man, I'll come back and see what the house actually really looks like because it looks a little, in some of the spots, it looks a little empty. Craig is in the mix of his like stuff. Um, 
Oh, I, so I'm a little sleepy because let's be honest, I had to celebrate last night, tonight for this premiere, but this is the, I mean, um, the berry one. I like this. It's, it's better than coffee because I don't know, zero sugar, vegan friendly. Cheers. Hmm. How many episodes have I seen? I've seen one so far, um, and I'm happy. So that's good. Um, okay, the dress of the stream today is going to be this little bodycon here. Fabulous. I wore it on my um, Instagram, so if you want to like see what it looks like on, go there, or you can just look at her. Um, my up top situation was a little more um, intense than that, but uh, yes. Um, I don't know. Watch what happens live. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be on there, so y'all don't worry. Not not tonight, but how was my time in New York? Did I connect with any Bravo stars? Yes, met so many. Well. Not really Bravo stars, I guess you would say, because it was just my girls that I already love from Bravo, which is Sierra and Lisa. Um, and then I met, you know, some uh, bachelorette or bachelor people, which I love them. Am I friends with either Lindsay or Carl? Um, I mean, I, w I don't know about friends, but, uh, friendly, yes. I'm going to dinner with them. Super nice. Well, yeah, you know what I mean. Anyways, moving on. Um, this little black dress from Amanda Uprichard. Super cute. It's got this, like, little detail on it. I know it's kind of hard, or, like, cut, I guess you would say. I ha also have it in like a blue, but it kind of elevates that, um, no, that's not it, but it just elevates the work attire, I guess you would say. Really cute though, good length um, to be work friendly. There we go, that's the picture of it. I know it's hard for you to see the cutout of the neckline, um, Ugh, this fur is making my nose itch. Hi, Kelly. Thanks for joining. Um, did I go to Fashion Week in New York? Yes, I did. Um, I told, so I, when I came home, I was gone for five days, and Hudson, I was like, he goes, it felt like a year. It was so cute that he even said that. So. This is funny. You are looking more snatched than ever. Have you been doing anything different? Ugh, girl, I'm going to tell you right now. Go to New York Fashion Week and run around and that's what happened. It was like there was no time for me to eat my, you know, three meals a day. Um, and then you're also, like I said, running around. So, yeah, it was... It was extra. I mean, that's how it works, though. If I, like, indulge for a week, it's like there's five pounds right there. And on a person my size, that's, like, 15 pounds. It's Chelsea in this season. Mm -mm. I mean, I don't know what Chelsea you're talking about, but if you're talking about the original Chelsea net. What did Brett think about the show and filming? Was it what he expected? Uh, yeah, he's fine. 
he's he's a man of very few words. So, I mean, he's he was like whatever. But I'm glad that he was able to see, you know, what goes into this and all that kind of stuff. Okay, um, this little black, uh, it's called the Amanda Uprichard Dream Dress. It's strapless. It's got a little slit. I don't have it on me, but I just thought that it was cute for, you know, everyday kind of situation. So, uh, well, it's not strapless, but you see what I'm saying, kind of. A little enough detail and if you have never worn Amanda up Richard you should check her out because the quality is really good and I like the pricing okay this is another Amanda up Richard outfit how chic is this it is like a um vest jumpsuit so it's one piece now i'm very curious how you are going to use the restroom in this it looks like i have to take this whole thing unbutton all those um and there's that here's the back of it looks really cute though on i'm sure that would be a very flattering like if you had to do a zoom call or something and you needed a good neckline can you believe like that's the stuff we have to think about these days. Okay, Rich says, re-watching season six, girl, and they really tried to make you out to be a villain for sticking up to Shep. He met his match to a T. I know, right? Like, come on. Pretty much, I think it was just like somebody to give him, you know, a little dose of his own medicine, right? Get it? Madison medicine. Um, yeah, you know, I tend to get that, uh, that villain role sometimes. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when, um, you have an opinion, right? If, I, if that's what a villain is, then I guess whatever, but. Can I share the tea on the upcoming season? Well, Honestly, like the tea w was pretty good in the um, in the clip, the uh, what you call it. Why am I blanking on that? Anyways, it was really good. Um, so you kind of see what's unfolding, but then it just like continues and continues um, until we're all are just trying to figure it out. Something's wrong with my makeup today. Thank God I'm going to show you guys some products because I'm not digging it. Um, am I friends with Olivia? Yes. I think it, you'll be kind of shocked to see that um, with Olivia, I, it, you know, not that she asked me to do this or anything, but it's almost like, I felt like a, a big sister in a sense of, yeah, yeah, I, I stand up for her pretty much. And like I said, she didn't ask for it, but that's just what I do when um, I like somebody. Yeah. How do I feel about being portrayed differently? Do you ever get sad about being looked at as a villain? Um, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I I do. I hate when people who personally don't know me or, you know, have even like gotten on here to even get to know me as a person and think that I am, you know, a villain or, or whatever that is, because yeah, that sucks because it's not true. Now, if you cross me and it's like you, then yeah, you're going to be the villain. Um, but it's never, you know, on purpose. Can I share any of Miss Patricia's strategies for looking so fresh and youthful all the time? Yes. So she swears by La Mer products. That's what she uses. That's what she's always used for years. So that's what I 
I had to get some. Yeah. Now, let's just hope that I can afford to keep up with that. Who am I going to watch the premiere with? Um, probably my best friend, um, Erica. Uh, Brett is on his way uh, to Charleston, so he won't get in until, well, he has, he's at work right now, but, like, he won't get in until tomorrow morning. So, probably, like, you know, girl dinner just here at home. Um, I, I have not watched the show on like the big TV yet. I normally watch it from my computer cause that's how I'll get it sent to me. That's always a little, uh, cringing sometimes. Cause you're like, Oh gosh, you know, for, I look at myself, I'm like, look at those pores. Anyways, I'm wondering, can I get the same filter that Selling Sunset has on their cameras? Because um, Hudson is at his dad's right now, but um, he he will not watch it. I'll let him watch his like little like clips that he's on there, but I'm not, I'm not gonna let him sit there and watch. You know, the drama, and the F-bombs every two seconds. Okay, let's talk about these shoes. How fabulous. It's like, what? They also come in this pink color. I just wanted to do everything girly and fun today because that's the mood for the party. I mean, look at these little popcorn, scalloped popcorn things. I mean, I love this. What does a typical day look like for you? Well, yeah, I mean, we're working, you know what I mean? Like, as far as workouts go, if I'm lucky or if I'm, you know, not exhausted, then I'll definitely incorporate some kind of at least 45 minutes. So I did a uh, 75 hard, like so long ago, but I kind of always uh, keep that in mind. So normally it's like two workouts a day. One of those workouts can count as like if you were out walking your dog. So it's not like so serious. So you can just walk around the neighborhood. You can walk on your treadmill and then you can do like one 45 minute either class or intense workout or whatever yoga Pilates. Anyways. Okay. This purse. How amazing. If you don't think you would carry this, your daughter needs this for her, like, Christmas, one of her Christmas gifts. Because this is just so cute. Like, try to tell me something, because I'm not listening. I'm, this is the vibe. Oh, it comes in black, too. Didn't know that. What is my typical getting ready routine? How long does it normally take you to get ready? It takes me about 30 minutes to get ready if I'm not washing my hair. So if my hair is already dry, then there's that. Um, I did try to flat iron. You guys had to tell me. So what did y'all think about my straight hair look? I mean, I felt like a different person. Let's see. I think this is off. Anyways, this is a good... Um, curling iron to use when I get that like big blowout look. So you see how I had Velcro rollers in here? Well, what you would do is you would use this to kind of heat this up. This is how we did my first look for New York Fashion Week. And I know it's off, but I just kind of wanted to show you. So what she did was she took an iron like that. And then you go through with this because this isn't going to be enough.
Voila. Are you excited for the premiere tonight? Of course I am. I'm so excited. <clears throat> How did I get my hair so straight? Did you get a keratin? No, so um, there's there, there's an area in New York um, and it's called Korean Town and I went and got a blowout and <clears throat> obviously the girl's hair is like so silky smooth and like shiny and I was like, that's what I want. Uh, so good luck because this hair is uh, fried and dyed and yeah lay to the side so we uh took about an hour and a half and she went through each piece and just like flat like pressed it almost but now i'm obsessed like i'm like it lasted for like four days um do i sleep in these rollers no absolutely not they're uh they're hard as a rock, so I wouldn't do that. Yeah, these PJs, so good. Somebody says they're giving Meredith marks. She's so pretty, by the way. Like her skin, I'm like, what are you doing? How many days a week do um, I recommend washing hair? You know. Mm. Two to three, depending on like the workout I'm doing and stuff and like how many days a week am I in the sauna. So I saw my trainer last night because I had an, an event and uh, he was there and he's like, you look really good, you know, uh, but we hadn't been able to work out. And he's like, what have you been doing? And I said, honestly, like what I always do, but. Um, I've been doing the sauna and cold plunge more, which is not good for my hair, but, uh, it's been pretty ideal for my, for my body, I guess you could say. All right. These, okay. Let's, let's talk about, uh, cubic zirconia earrings, stud earrings. Super important because I do not believe in investing in earrings too much because I'm, I lose them. I'm always taking them off, like leaving them, throwing them in a purse. But I found these and they're like a little oval situation. Love them. I, I think it's just a little different than like more realistic that these are real than, you know, some of those other ones. So I did put these on there for you guys. 14 karat. I don't know the... Uh, carrot size of that, but it's big enough. Trust me. Is there any jewelry you splurge on? Um, yes. So you guys know that these are my two bracelets. This is my tennis bracelet that I have. And then Brett got me this one. Uh, that's like half diamond, half like bangle. Um, from the same jeweler that he got my engagement ring. So I feel I never take these off. Like I wear them to the gym. I wear them in the shower. So I think that this is definitely something uh, to splurge on. I said that by the end of this year, I was going to buy myself a Rolex. Obviously it's probably going to be used. I'm not going to lie. And um, I'm okay with that. Will I probably wear it every day? I don't know. Y'all know I'm always wearing like a whoop or like some kind of workout thing. That's like, that's like the ick. Um, my one friend, she's like, I hate the fact that you wear these workout bands. And I'm like, bitch. Oh, excuse me. Um, I'm just trying to, you know, see those oxygen levels throughout my day. But I don't wear it like when I'm filming and working and stuff. Like I know better. How long will I leave my hair like this? Uh, for like maybe an hour or so, as long as I can. I got, I have to, some stuff I got to do around the house. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go to Gwen's today, which y'all know is the, 
is our store here that has all the fabulous clothes. I don't know, I might treat myself to something. I want a Chanel bag, y'all. That's what I want. I don't have one. I keep telling Patricia I don't have one, thinking she'll feel sorry for me and be like, oh, well, honey, I don't carry that one. She hasn't yet, though. Maybe if I give her a blowout, she... Okay. Thank you for asking this. Top three pieces of advice when it comes to dating. Think about yourself um, when it comes to dating because you're dating. It's nothing serious, like, yet, at least. Um, also, remember, you're dating, so you're single until proven engaged. So, you never know. You might be dating. You might, you might have gone to the movies or a dinner date with this guy twice. That doesn't mean you have to close off the man in your dreams that just walks into the room. Just saying. That's my advice. Um, and then have fun with it. Be lighthearted. You know? Try not to get, like, too caught up in the emotions of it. Because that's when it stops being fun. Because I've noticed sometimes people will let you down. Okay? Y'all like that? Coming soon on the podcast. No, I'm kidding. This is my podcast, so... This is where we talk. Okay. Lanage, just when we think that they can't pull through, like, something else cool, like, here we are. Hmm. Why do we always have to smell everything before we do it? But it's giving uh, rainbow sherbet, but pink lemonade with limeade rosé love that there are a lot of pink outfits behind you is that your favorite color or is it a face it's a face so I wore pink last night to an event and I said I'm not wearing pink anymore I had all this before the Barbie movie came out and now every time I wear pink let me tell you all this this is so funny so I'm in New York right I'm walking down the street leaving a show. I have this hot pinkish purple dress on. This woman, clearly she was not right in her mind, but enough to where she, you know, hit me with a one-liner. And she goes, move out of the way, Barbie. And I was like, oh my God, thank you. And I'm moving. So yeah, that was pretty, it's pretty good. But this era is done for me. As I'm sitting here drinking a pink drink and pink pajamas. Whatever. Okay. Oh my God, I love this dating advice. So, when do you stop looking? When you're engaged? <laughs> Pretty much. Um, no, I, like, I feel like once you have that conversation of like, you know, we're going to be engaged. Or like, like, are you down? Like, you have to have that talk, right? Where you're like... I think you're my person. Like, I think that, like, this is it. Then you can stop. But, yes, I mean, I just think, like, you never know. So, I have a lot of girlfriends that they get so invested into this guy. He's, like, not as invested. So, then, it's, but then it's, like, this other guy will walk in and I'm, like, girl, what are you doing? Like, that guy loves you. She's, like, mm, oh, because I'm seeing somebody out here. I'm, like. You're not going to go run off with him, but you might. And when you travel, too, like, and you're not in a serious relationship, listen, that's how I met my husband. Um, we, Someone just asked, how did I meet Brett? I was in Scottsdale, Arizona on a girl's uh, bachelorette trip, and he was at a friend's birthday party also traveling. I didn't know Scottsdale was like so like party town, but it was. Um, and I walk into this bar restaurant and we lock eyes and we pass right by each other, but like 
it was weird. Like we didn't stop looking at each other. I was like, this guy just looked straight through my soul. And I had been talking, I was talking to like two or three other people at the time. Wasn't really into them at all. And I walk, I walk out because we were leaving and he comes running after me like, and he's like, Hey, 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 wait, I, I gotta get your name, you know? And of course I gave him my name and my number. And then he flew to Charleston and took me out on a date that next week. I did a background check on him though, just to make sure, you know, he checked out. So he did. Also add that to the list of, uh, the dating advice, especially if you have children, I have somebody, you know, get a PI or somebody to do a background check. Cause we got to figure this out. We're, we don't have the best years of our lives to wait to see if the guy is like a criminal or a creep. You know what I mean? Just saying people are crazy. Um, favorite style to wear to Vegas. I don't know, but that's where BravoCon is this year. And, um, I picked out my looks and Gwen's, uh, helped me with that for fashion week. So I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm doing okay. I was going to hire a stylist, but. Oh, Chrissy, you're welcome. I love doing this. Thank you for tuning in. If it wasn't for you tuning in, I wouldn't be able to do this. So thank you. Yes, this is the Alex Earl drink. Um, and we know this girl's running around crazy uh, doing the most. So it, <laughs> this is the feeling I get when I drink it. My next era is red. Okay, I could get down with that. All right, let me, um, so put these little Velcro rollers in here. It says it's for long hair, but it could also be, uh, if you have medium length hair, you could get away with these. I added some of these pink clips as well. Um, if you didn't want to do like a duck bill clip, which is the ones I have, because these are really good for like blow drying your hair in sections. And then these clips are the ones that you would use. Sorry, this feather is getting my nose. Um, like say you want to do a sleek look middle part, you could uh, press that down and have it, you know, holding with these. So the good thing about these are they're not going to give you a crease, but they're also not going to like hold a lot of hair. So keep that in mind. So say if you want to switch to a middle part, but your hair is used to a side part, this is how you would like section that out and, you know, let it stay. I can't wait to get to the blush section of this because um, I need some. Okay. Mason Pearson brush. Sorry, I got all this hair in here. Um, always a good brush. You... This is an investment, but um, I do love it. It's really good, especially if you have extensions because it gets up the tangles, but it's good for um, stimulating the scalp, which we know that when you stimulate the scalp, we are going to get some hair growth with that. Tonight's the Super Bowl, y'all, for Southern Charm at least. What is the key to long distance? Do you guys manage it? Okay, let me just jump on here and, and clarify this. <clears throat> so, my husband and I, I don't know how this got twisted. We're, we're not long distance, okay? We, he literally just travels for work. So, this is his home. This is where we live. This is our full-time residence. He just goes to work just like everybody else, husband that works out of town and then he comes right home. I don't know how we got into that. Um, as far as managing it, honestly, when he's gone, I'm still working and you know, we just can't wait to see each other as soon as he gets back. So there's really, there's really nothing to, to manage. I was being needy the other day and I was like, Hey, I haven't talked to you, you know, a lot today. He goes, Oh, I was in meetings and this and that. He's like, now you know how I feel when you are in your meetings. I was like, True. Okay. So there's that. Go to coffee order. Um, I just got an espresso machine and, uh, yeah, I just do that. And I've got this 
creamer. I posted it on Instagram. I can't pronounce it, but it's my favorite. And because it's like low calorie, um, I've, I've stopped drinking like Starbucks drinks. So not only am I saving money, but I'm cutting out some of that sugar that I was drinking all the time. Unless my friend brings me a coffee when she comes over. Yeah, I don't really. Who do I hang out with most on Southern Charm? Patricia. But I think we know that. That's like, and my longest friendship. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm hearing from you guys that we heard that red is going to be big for fall. Okay, I like red. Repainting the town red. Okay, I'm glad you asked this. What is the biggest hair beauty secret you've gotten from hairstylist and getting your hair done? So I learned this um, at Fashion Week. So what she did to keep the volume, we pretty much set the tone for the rest of the week. So she went through with a, a crimper. Like, you know, remember those ones where we would like slide the little bullet, like the blade tray off of there and you would, you could switch it out. Anyways, it was like almost like that, but more high tech. It looked like a flat iron. And she went, she crimped the root underneath my hair. So all of, all of that had this base of like, it was like thick and my hair did not get greasy. It didn't drop. The volume was there. I, when I would wake up, I mean, it would, it was like it was growing in the middle of the night. I don't know, but that was the secret that I got from that. What kind of extensions do I have and do I recommend any dangerous shampoos safe for extensions? So I wear the um, Great Links extensions. So does Selena Gomez. If that tells you anything, her hair was fabulous at the VMAs. Um, as far as dangerous shampoos, I don't really use that, but I do use like a, like a tea tree shampoo, which I think is really good and it's by Aveda. Um, rosemary mint is what it's called. What do I typically eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? So typically breakfast, uh, if you saw my Instagram, I'm not a huge fan of breakfast. There's some, I always feel kind of like nauseous in the morning. Don't take that as like a pregnancy thing. Cause like it has been like this since I was young. Um, I know it's the most important meal of the day. So if I can, I will try to do like hard boiled egg with fruit or two hard boiled eggs and like a sliced tomato is actually one of my favorites. Um, just to kind of get me through to like eat around 12 or one. I'm like on a schedule when it comes to food, like an old person, like I'm like, um, I want dinner by six or seven. Brett's like, he could eat at eight. And I'm like, no, this is just going to sit in my stomach when I go to bed at nine or 10. And then it's just going to turn into fat. Y'all know what I'm talking about? So, yes. Okay. Royal Blowout. I like this one because this is a heat protectant spray. And the size of this is great just to see if you like it. Um, you get what you pay for. So it is expensive, but worth it. I really do like this product. It's going to be a good um, idea, especially if you wanted to get that like really smooth, uh, sleek look. So be careful at spraying this at the root or directly on the root because it could turn a little oily. Um, so you don't want to do that. And then... Following that, I always try to use the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. This is going to kind of give the grit to, a hair, to the hair. So um, if your hair is weighty or if you're lacking, like you're getting that like silky feeling, um, then yeah, this will kind of. Okay, back to what I eat for lunch. You know, I am obsessed with, uh, like, like chicken bowls. So I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's like, like there's this place that does like acai 
And they also had the option to do like pokey and like that kind of thing. But I, it's like just white rice with like, uh, it's almost kind of spicy, like chicken. And then they do like scallions on the top. And that's like my go-to. Um, I probably eat it like three times a week. Uh, I love something pretty simple, but like filling. And then as far as dinner, I'm a huge rotisserie chicken fan from Publix. I'm going in there with a mission. Like me and these girls are like, uh, I'm here for the lemon pepper. What are you here for? And yeah, it's, it's a thing. So if it's 730, I'm like, oh, missed it. I'm not going to get the lemon pepper rotisserie chicken anymore. It's gone. But I would do that normally with like green beans. Uh, I did cauliflower uh, mash with that the other night. I had a plan on eating all of it. I, I didn't, but yeah, I wanted to. Now, when the guys come, I do like mashed potatoes or something like that. Um, Caesar salad, but then I watched that freaking show poisoned or whatever. And now I like don't want to eat salad anymore. I don't want to eat anything after that. I was like, what, what can I do? Like eat bag chips? <laughs> I mean, anyways, okay. Um, guys, I don't have it on me right this second, but it is my, one of my favorite hairstyling tools of all time. I'm going to put put a picture of it. It's by Shark. You know, they also make um, vacuums. This thing is like a 10 in one. You get a hair dryer, you get the, um, like the wrap, air wrap situation, and you get the brush. The price on this is absolutely amazing. I stand by this 110%. One of my favorite tools. So when you guys see my hair in it, and it's like a blowout look, so it's not curly, this is how I do it. Do I think Chef will ever get married? No, I do not. I don't think he has any plans, but like also, I don't really care. <laughs> um, Southern Charm is the only Bravo show that I follow. Obviously, Scandaval got my attention, but Southern Charm is so relatable, especially being from see, vacationing in Charleston time to time. Always drive by Pat's house and wave. Oh, that's so cute. Thank Thank you. Am I friends with any of the new guys? Yes, I'm friends with Rodrigo. We've known each other for a really long time. Um, and new friends with JT, who's he's kind of funny. I mean, you know, we don't talk to each other all the time, but like, yeah, he's 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 funny. I'm happy to have him. And then Rod, like I said a thousand times, he's just a, a gentleman. So, and I've known him a couple of years as well. Uh, is Brett friends with any of the cast? He's friendly with the cast or the guys. Yes. Um, I guess Craig would probably be the closest to, uh, who we hang out with or Brett's friends with. Um, I think it would be weird if him and Austin were friends like hanging out, but I think that they could maybe be friends. I don't know. Uh, advice for those whose husbands travel for work pretty often. My husband is traveling more often now. Um, I don't know about advice for the husbands. Um, cause I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I guess just FaceTime more often. You know what I mean? Did I just wink that? That's probably one of the first because I'm terrible at that. Um, sorry, my computer. What are your favorite season and which has been your least favorite season and why? Least favorite season for me would probably be season six. I think we know why. Um, and my favorite season is going to be this season. Now, I haven't seen every episode, so who knows what's going to happen. <clears throat> okay. Tatcha. Finally. Oh, love this. 
step. I do this before and after makeup. It's just going to give you like, you can see a glowy, dewy um, effect. It's not dry yet, but. And then this little thing is so cute and tiny. And this is the Brow Glue by NYX. Good price. It's clear too. And yeah, just give us that little brushed um, wild look. Love that. Okay, how do I keep my hair so healthy? Well, we pushed it to the limit this time because my hair is extremely blonde. And I would say investing in your products is super important because your hair is like the purse that you never take off. So I, I like the Orbe um, Gold Lust, especially, you know, for lighter hair or dry hair. Okay, these little um, powder squares or whatever, they come in this little cute box and they're individually uh, wrapped. So sometimes when I travel, I just leave it in that little plastic thing. And then the one size is one of my favorite powders. This shade should be pretty good. But this is just going to kind of hit up that T-zone where it looks a little shiny from that dewy mist. But then once we take this away, we can um, then spray it again if you want. So these are just the areas that I tend to touch up throughout the day. I don't worry about, you know, the rest of my face. Okay. It's always that eyebrow, you know what I mean? Okay. So there's that. <clears throat> and then, what lip color did you wear for your wedding day? And what color do you wear day to day? Um, so my makeup for my day to day was, uh, Pretty much my wedding lip color. I can't remember exactly. A lot of that stuff I'll, you know, put in my LTK. But um, this NYX one is pretty good. It's the nude pink. Let's see if I can put it on for you because I had a bunch of gloss on, but we'll see. Man, this pencil is so sharp that it's like cutting. <laughs> Woo. Okay. So price-wise, this one's pretty good. Color is a little faint for me, so I'd go up a little bit on that one. Um, now, this stuff is insane. When I show you this, it's going to be kind of like, whoa. Um... Euphoria, I guess. Is that how, you're, how you say it? So this is a blush and color changing oil. I've used it on my lips a bunch. Watch this stuff. If I don't, if I don't move this quick, I mean, it's crazy. Look at that. It's like magic. I can't even talk about my nails right now because, ugh. so I'm going to this like Russian um, nail tech to get a Russian manicure because everybody's talking about it. So I know that she says, come with bare nails. Okay, well I go and soak off my nails and then she cancels on me. So here we are. Love this though. This is giving grandma vibes, but like in the best way. Um, shade 171, nude intense. Um, 
new confident. That's the color. Really good. Okay, I know you guys want to see what my hair looks like when I take this down, but because I had flat ironed my hair, it's not it, it's not going to work cuz this was off so I didn't I didn't get to go through and set the whole thing I just am wearing it like this so you know the placement of where these go so I'm sorry um what is my favorite cheap foods mmm cheap foods let's see pizza so typical um yeah I'm gonna tell you what I'm obsessed with and that's soup Wow, look at this. They're like blotting pads for your face. And it's like, I mean, genius. And look at that, clearly. Where were these last night when I needed them? I actually was using just tissue and it worked, but that is adorable. Talk about conversation starter in the bathroom. <clears throat> what new hair trends do you like? Um, I'm kind of digging the bangs. And we all know, like, I'm a creature of habit. I've had the same hair since I was a kid, and that's just that. I mean... Yeah. Okay, so this is a like oil that you can put on your legs before you go out. Um, I'll show you right here on my arm. I do normally use like a mitt with this and I always put it on after I already have my clothes on. But it'll just kind of give you like a little bit of a sheen to it. I need a spray tan or some kind of tan because... Your girl is pale. Which celebrity hair do you love? Is there anyone whose hair you would love to style yourself? Um, hmm. Whose hair do I love? Anybody who's willing to cut their hair short because I'm so like envious of that. If I could wear like a little short bob wig occasionally, I would just to see it. But like I'm addicted to hair extensions and when you do that which you can have short hair with hair extensions too but like I can't I can't get all of these hair extensions and then cut my hair short no way is Paige gonna be on this season um yeah from what I've seen a little bit yeah happy Southern Charm premiere day y'all um I am still experimenting with extensions on Amazon, guys, but I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, Great Lengths is just going to be my number one choice. Uh, but I do know that the wigs on Amazon are really nice. Okay, this cup, I think everyone needs this. Like, this deserves to be, you know, carried around and I don't know. Even by the bed, you know? Do I always do permanent extensions or do you mix it up with clip-ins? Um, I always do permanent extensions, especially with, uh, with work and stuff. It's like I would be clipping extensions in every day, so I might as well just keep them uh, permanent. Okay, I showed you guys the little popcorn things. Um... These are just super cute, you know, movie night. Because let's be honest, you don't want other people digging their hands in your popcorn. So just get them their own. How is Hudson doing? He is adorable. He is cuter than ever. I don't know why, but he loves me more than he did when he was a baby. So I'm so happy about that. I thought I was going to like 
lose him for a little bit as far as him being in fifth grade and thinking he's a grown man. Um, but no, he's definitely loving his mama. That's for sure. So I'm, I'm soaking it up. I'm like, Oh, I'm like one day when he gets a girlfriend, he's going to be like, all right, girl, I don't want to hold your hand right now. I'm like, but yes, I'm obsessed. What is my favorite snack food? Uh, it would definitely be like chips and salsa would be, I mean, I love some queso, like stick a straw in that and I am good to go. I'm kidding, but yes. Um, yeah, and it's one of Hudson's favorite snacks too, which with him, you know, I, uh, that's where I start to cheat on my diet or, you know, meal plan or whatever is because he obviously eats like a 11 year old and that's, uh, kind of my favorite thing too. We definitely will be seeing Hudson this season. Um, it's crazy because he hasn't been on the season at, since he was like six or seven. So it's amazing uh, to see how far he's grown. But I just want to thank all of you guys for joining in today. This was probably one of my favorite streams because like I said, I'm so excited about tonight. Make sure you hit that follow plus button so you will be notified every time that I am live. And yeah, like I said, this is like my version of my podcast. So we'll just sit here and talk and answer questions. And then at the same time, I'll show you my favorite go-to products that, you know, I can tell you to either buy or don't buy. So love you guys. Tune in, tag me and everything if y'all are watching tonight. And I can't wait to see you guys again.